Hey guys, it's your girl Diamond and Sam back with another video. I'm going to be doing a car tour on the Rolls Royce Dawn and this is my little brother. Hi, my name is Denzel. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So to start off, this car is super luxurious and it has many features. For example, my favorite part of it is the interior, the red interior, and some may refer to as bloody seats. You know, this car has a very high price tag. Really? How much is it? It could buy a house and about 350000 A unique thing about this car is that it has suicide doors. So over here, it has all like the standard controls and stuff. You have like where you can put up and down your windows. You can move the mirrors over here on the side, everything that's like basic, the lock, all that, move the seats and stuff like that. And then also on this side, you have the umbrella like compartment. So if it's raining or something, you can just press this button, an umbrella pops out and then you can go and then bring it back in so you don't have to run to your trunk or anything like that. And then um, it closes automatically, so. No hands. Over here they have buttons for the, d the two doors to close them and automatically and there's also another button that says boot. I don't know why it says boot. I don't know why it says boot because this is an English car and in England for the trunk it says boot. It's boot. Oh. Yeah. To start the car it has a push to start over here and you have to hold your foot down on the brakes and then you turn it on. The steering will move for you, this opens. And then on this side you have the little controls over here, you have like lights, the regular light things like auto, high beam, all that. And then over here you have four like little buttons over here that most cars don't have. It has night vision, so there's cameras all over the car that shoot out and just show different things, different views of the car. And then you also have like the road, like a road signal thing where it, if you're driving so you have a warning of like if you're getting close to another car and it'll the steering will actually like vibrate and then you also have a collision button so if you're getting too close to a car or something like that and you can adjust that over here on the steering wheel you have two buttons for that and then on the steering wheel you have like your volume up volume down you have cruise control you know talking or whatever like bluetooth and stuff like that horn and then over here the little display and the speedometer is over here it has like Rolls Royce in the middle, the two R's, and then you have like a little um, digital display. And then to do like your gears and stuff, park, neutral, reverse, drive, you have this over here. Oh, you have to press the brake. So you press the brake and then you can switch your gears, but it's like in this little handle thingy. And then to park, you have to press the button at the end. Um, over here, you have your emergency brake. So you pull it and then your car is on the emergency brake over here. Um, you have cameras. So this little like video cam button and then it shows cameras on both sides of the car so you can see over here and over there and it's like coming from those mirrors that's what the cameras are and then you also have a camera that shows every, like a view of the whole car around you so you can see everything when you're parking and stuff like that you can see how close you are to the curb so it has all 360 camera basically and you just press this little button over here with the p and you can see everything and then over here, um, you have your vents. You have your main vents, the two side vents. You can move with your fingers or whatever. And then you can close them and open them with these like little sticks. And then you have over here your radio stuff that's like kind of like you touch it and it moves like on the screen. Um, it's not touch screen though, so you use this little control in the middle that has the um, ecstasy symbol. And then you can just go to like media, radio, Bluetooth phone and then you also have your top like convertible top button so you can pull it up pull it down for the convertible Up holders AC controls over here it goes from soft medium high max all that and then also there's heat, heat, warmers. Wait, heat seat, warmers. seat warmers for both the front and the back I thought my seat was warming up for a second. okay but it has like three little levels so it can be like a little bit hot or all the way hot. In, in the middle of the cup holders is actually a key holder so you can put your key right in there and it fits perfectly and you can like close it and stuff like that. Um, there's also the emergency um, light thingy right here and then to 
to lock the car. And then over here in the middle, they have compartments, so you can open this, and you have your compartment that like most cars have to put anything, whatever. A little shoulder rest. And there also is a button over here that opens and closes the screen. And I'm pretty sure that's it for the front, so we can move on to the back. Yeah. Diamond, you forgot about the clock that I love. Yeah, the clock is the clock is cute. But um, let's go to the back now. So, all right. So over here, you gotta pull the seat back, and you got buttons over here on the side. This moves the seat forward, back, up, down. It's already all the way up because I'm short. But. And then over here on this side, you have two other buttons, and this actually moves the whole seat itself. So like if you're in the back, it's from the back. So if you're sitting in the back and like the person driving is too close to you, you can just move them up. And then... <laughs> All right, so in the back, you have your own controls for your AC, and you can move it any type of way you want. Um, close your vents and all that and another really good thing that most cars don't have because I can know when you sit in the back It'd be too hot because they like it hot, but you like it cold So you have your own AC like temperature over here for your like personal space So it can be cold or hot over here and then you open this actually okay. You open this and you have your cup holders and then you have your own like cigarette lighter thing for charges and stuff and then you just close this And then there's a little button to open your own compartment over here. This can be for storage. There's two more cigarette lighter like hole thingies for more chargers. Um, and there's just more storage in general. On each side, for each seat in the back seat, you have this little window button to bring your windows up. It's really cool. And then you also have your little compartment for anything you want to put over here. And you also have a button to do your heat warmer. So the seat warmer diamond. How much power do you think this car has? I don't know. I'll show you. <laughs> it's a 6.6 .6 liter V12 engine, as you can see right there. And it has about 560 horsepower. I don't really care about all that. All I care about is the gas. Just 12 miles in the city and 19 miles on the highway. Oh. All right, I'm gonna show you something. Catch this. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> and you just lift the truck. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if you're fitting in the zone. What in the little world is this? <laughs> This is where I keep my makeup. Um, makeup tour coming soon. If you guys want to see that, let me know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh. <laughs> but wait, stop. Okay. So in here it has like extra compartment of anything you want to put in here. I don't know. But it's just extra storage. It's like its own bag, personalized bag. It's cute. And the whole trunk is like fluffy. Alright. If you are ever walking in the trunk by mistake, you can pull this thing for it to pop open. Basically. All right, and then it has its own space for the little box to go into, so it literally fits perfectly right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's electric, so you can just press this button, closes it. One last feature of this whole car that I have to mention is that the key, you can actually lock your car so if you're doing ballet or something, you can just lock it. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, but y'all understand, you can lock the trunk if you, you'll get in ballet so they can't touch your trunk at all and it's just a good thing. It's electric, it's electric, it's electric. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please comment down below any questions or requests you guys may have. Do not forget to follow me on social media at Diamonds Follows with 3S on Instagram and 2S on Twitter. I'll have that right here. And I will see you guys in my next video.